你好，我是依依。A few days ago, I posted a video on my Instagram to ask you guys to pick one topic for my YouTube. Actually, no matter which one you voted, whether you voted or not, as long as you click this video, you probably already met this issue. You have already spent a long time learning Chinese, including photos, grammars, vocabulary, and blah blah blah. But when you try to talk to Chinese people, you will notice that there is a confused expression that appears to their face. They don't understand you. If they understand you, it might take them a while to figure out what you are saying. Listen is the same. When they try to talk to you, it might take you a while to figure out what they are saying. Even though they are saying the words that you just learned, I have to say this taking a while to figure out is an embarrassing, inconvenient, and a heart-hurting moment. These problems are all related to tones, which is being. Unable to pronounce properly in a long sentence. Believe me, you are not the only one. Give yourself two minutes to listen to my explanation of the issue, which will save ages for you to master the long sentence pronunciation. If I ask you, I want to move this table, but I can't, so I decide to go to the gym every day. I learned how to use the running machine and jump and I run every day. In the end, how come I still can't move this table? Well, what will you tell me? Because you didn't train your arm muscle particularly. You have to train here on purpose. You will say that, right? Long sentence pronunciation is the same thing. You do practice Chinese a lot. You do know how the photo sounds like. But when you pronounce them, do you know which exact vocal organ are you using? Like the first tone, my name E E. Which part is working? Which part is not working? If you don't know which part, how can you get enough practice for it? If you don't get enough practice, how can you get the ability to use them free? And then, how can you pronounce every single tone properly in a long sentence like a local? So today we are going to talk about one technique that you have to know to pronounce properly in a long sentence. After this video, you will know which part of your vocal organ is working when you pronounce tones, and I will use first tone as an example to pronounce long sentence with my technique, which can also let you check your tones by yourself if there is no Chinese to correct you in front of you. And it took me long time to figure out. It is super, super, super easy. No matter what mother language you are using, as long as you can make a sound, you can definitely do it. I can't wait to share it with you guys. We only use one vocal organ when we pronounce tones, any tones, ma 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 ma, which are your vocal cords. The tighter your vocal cords are, the higher sound you can make. The looser your vocal cords are, the lower sound. You can make vocal cords. Where is it? Put your hands on your neck like this. If you are a man, use your fingers to touch the area that is protruding. If you are not a man, imagine the sexy part of a man's neck, where you will look at the first sight. Ooh, I just swallowed. Can you feel the stuff just went up down? Put your finger here. This is your throat, and your vocal cords are behind it. They are together. You are not making any sound, so your throat is not moving now. Let's pronounce those first tones with me and feel your throat at the same time. Ch, 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 ch. Can you feel it? Your throat will go up when you pronounce first tone. If your throat didn't go up, which means your first tone is not correct, because your vocal cords are not tight enough. Little murder, your throat is not up. Make it tight. Jing, Beijing, Jing, Beijing. Beijing. Jing, Jing, Beijing. Can I sing? Can I sing? Can I sing? Can I sing? Can I sing?
just them. Yours the same. Your vocal cords are not tight enough. 开心，开心，开心，很开心，那很开心。开心，开心，开心。开心。Interesting, right? And there is one point that you have to be careful when you pronounce first on your long sentence, especially for English speakers. As we just talked about, when we make the first tone, our vocal cords are tight and the throat will be up. For Chinese, it is so natural for us that keeping our throat at a high level until finishing pronouncing the first tone. And after pronouncing the first tone, our throat will go down and go back to the original place. But for English speakers, your vocal cords are not used to keeping tight for a long time, so there is a common mistake that your throat will go up and go down immediately while pronouncing the first tone. Does that make sense? Let's see some examples. <laughs> 刚刚，刚刚 ，the second， 刚刚，刚刚，刚刚，刚刚，刚刚，刚刚。我很多外国朋友来到中国，会发现很多中国女人，她们中国，中国，中，中国，中国。What you need to train is you need to keep your throat at a high level until the sound ends. Look at this pen. It's like the first tone. You can imagine it as a straight line, and the sound that you make will go with this line. Before reaching the end of it, your throat can't fall. And when it ends, your throat falls. And once it falls. There is no sound anymore. I don't know. Not I don't know. Not I don't know. Not I don't know. If your throat goes up and goes down immediately, you are making another sound. That's why Chinese people cannot understand you properly. Let's do some more drills. I read first, and you repeat me by touching your throat to check your first tone. 我不舒服，我不舒服。这个房间太吵了，这个房间太吵了。别吃辣的东西！别吃辣的东西 ！You have to practice, practice until you can feel your vocal cords are tied in a long sentence without touching it. And by that time, all Chinese people can understand all your words with first tone. Okay, that's all for today. If you think you haven't got enough practice, no worries. You can go to my Facebook group. You can get 50 more daily example sentences and my audios there for free. And tell me in the comments if this video helps and if you need another video about the rest tones in the long sentences. I'll make it if I get 300 likes. Subscribe and click the bell notification, and you will never miss it.